Okay, so we'll walk around this uh, rather sweet and lovely looking um, Land Rover Series 1. <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, 109 inch, 1957 model. Um, pickup, truck cab. Um, finished in Battleship Grey. And uh, just absolutely gorgeous, it looks great. Uh, fitted with 750 by 16 tyres. Um, but completely original specification. It's got rear mud flaps, combination uh, tow ball and agricultural pintle on the back. Um, nice tilt. That's about it. Let's pick out some good, go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very few in the way of bad bits. It's just super. Um, as I say, really, really authentic. Has been repainted at some point in the past. I think you'd expect that given that it's 1957. But it is actually quite nicely patinated. It's. Um, there's a bit of paint flaking off here and there, and it, it looks really quite authentic and, uh, and, and correct. Around the front end here, it's all, uh, it's all rather nice. Uh, it's obviously had another plate on there at some point. So there's the holes. Um, bonnet is all quite good. We'll come back to that wing top in a minute, last of all, I think. Near side wing is lovely, and looking down the near side, it's beautifully straight. The front wings are gorgeous. I think they're probably um, replacement front wings on there because they're in... Beautiful shape without any dents or ripples or anything in them. Really nice. A little about sort of one inch long um, scratch just there on the near side front wing. Um, up here, scuttle corner and vent flap are all good. The vent flaps are losing a bit of their um, uh, a bit of their paint right up underneath the um, uh, the, the screen gutter along there. There's, on both of them, there's a line of um, some paint has come off them. But, so only adds to the pattern really. A post and uh, what have you, all looks exactly as it should from the factory, which is really nice. Um, near side door, absolutely spot on. Bit of a crack in the paint just there on the near side door, another one just there, but they're minor. Um, still got the correct Perspex screens on. Near side door, the latch just needs a bit of adjustment. It's quite hard to make it shut correctly. Um, inside here, all, all correct for, for the age. Um, correct dark blue seats, which are in great shape. Again, probably been replaced. I don't think they're original ones. Um, but very, very nice for that. Dash isn't cut about or anything. It's all just very in very good shape. The whole of the interior here is uh, exactly as it should be for a 1957 model, really. Um, doors are in good order. As I say, just to shut that, it's just... Uh, it's got to get it right. That's it. It's done now. Um, tilt is in great shape. Uh, near side rear wing is all splendid. There's two tiny bubbles under the paint just there on the back of the near side rear wing. Um, around the tail end, cross member all looks good from here. Um, tailgate all's very nice. It's got the correct uh, port pie style lights on it. In the back here, all correct as it should be. Spare wheel. Um, tilt frame looks fairly new actually. By the look of it. Uh, what else have we got? Looking down the offside, Again, very straight, very correct. Really, really beautifully straight example, actually. Um, slight crack in the paint just there on the offside rear wing, and a section of paint is missing just there on the offside rear wing as well. Uh, that's all good, that panel there. Um, driver's door, a couple of bits where it's just been touched in and not particularly well. There, there, there and there on the, on the driver's door. But otherwise, it's all super. Again, a post is all as it should be. Scuttle panel is as, as the other side where just some paint's coming off around there but that's all as it should be at the factory. Inside here on the driver's side footwells are obviously first class on both sides. Um, all absolutely absolutely correct for a 1957 example. Um, so the only major blemish on it is on the top of the offside front wing here. It's obviously had uh, it looks like it's had a section of filler put in there in the top of the offside front wing. Obviously there was a, a depression or something. They've put filler in it and then the filler has sort of raised up and cracked a bit um, just around here. So that's about you, about it in terms of, uh, you know, a major blemish. Tiny chip out the offside front wing there, but otherwise it's all pretty good. She's lovely. I, I absolutely love it. Um, you have got a bit of, uh, again, paint loss on the, uh, on the roof. Um, but it just adds to the pattern, really. Makes it look much more authentic. Yeah, I love it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. 
for any further info. Uh, we take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards, and we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost, um, via our shipping agents or the UK and Europe. Um, we'll do it on a trailer. That's about it. End.